today we're going to get you guys set up with Noodle Tools, which is a fantastic product with a terribly stupid name that we're going to use for organization of our project. We're going to use it for um, keeping track of our thesis, for taking notes, where we're going to have that as our note card source, and most importantly, this, if you use it properly, is going to save you hours when it comes time to make your bibliography. It is so important that you get this right now. You are literally going to save yourself hours later on working on your bibliography. <laughs> to get started, you could either type noodletools.com right into the address bar or click on the link on Google Classroom. So it's gonna bring you to this page. We're gonna go ahead and hit login right over here. And since the school district has purchased this for our use, we do not have to create an account. We should be able to just click on Google and take us right to the, the page that we're going to need, okay? If you are working in a group, pick one person in that group to do this next step first. So one person, one member of the group is going to set the project up. Now from there, what we're going to be doing is we're going to create a new project. You see the green button over here, new project. We're going to click on new project and we're going to give it a project name, project title. And what we really want to do here is just name this something like our topic. We don't need the whole um, thesis. We don't want to just put NHD project because we're going to have a couple hundred of those. So it needs to be something that is particular to yours without being too, too wordy. So I just used my example here, Virginia in the revolution. In the revolution. And once we've given it that topic name, that title name, um, again, it, it needs to be something that is reflective of what your project is about. Under citation style, we're going to go with Chicago style. Um, and the deal is that I know you guys have used MLA in your English classes, but history people are into the Chicago style. We have had the coordinator of judges, who is a, um, a professor that works with uh, Mrs. Jung, said, you know, if push comes to shove, the, the, the final determining factor between first place, second place, third place is they look at the bibliography. And the, for historians, the preferred way is Chicago. And I know you guys have spent more time working on MLA, but that's also preparing you for those of you who want to go to college because each professor is going to have their own individual preference on which citation style you're going to use. Now, the easy thing for us is as long as we click Chicago style, Noodle Tools takes care of that for us. You're not going to have to change anything that you're doing. That's why it's so key that you use Noodle Tools. It will create your bibliography for you um, in the style that you need. And we're going to go ahead and click Advanced because remember, one of the requirements for this project is that you're doing some kind of research that's off the beaten path. It's not just going to be websites and books and, and journal articles. You're going to have to have something like an interview or you know something where you go and get a primary source in your hand. And so we're gonna need all of those different citation styles available to us even though you're probably not going to, you know, you're obviously not going to use all 70, but uh, you're going to use something that's off the beaten path. So we're going to go ahead and check advanced for that. And then we go ahead and submit. So we've created our project. Is to share the project with the inbox. So to connect it with your teachers, individuals, if you're working by yourself, you're doing this and group, projects we are going to add your your group members here in a moment but again the person who is taking point on this needs to do this step right here it says share with a project inbox 
you're going to click on that and then you're going to type your hour you're going to type NHD and in this case I'm I've got my practice one that we set up just for this but you're going to type NHD and then your class hour like first 1 ST 2 ND for second and it will pop up as you know for whichever your hour is and when you find that and it pops up you're going to go ahead and click done and so at that point it has now been shared with your project inbox which means it's hooked up with us as teachers you need to do this in order to get a grade for this stuff all right we need to be able to see it now at this point if you are in a group the next step individuals you're, you're done with this part anyway if you're in a group you're going to click right here where it says add students and you're going to enter that person's email address so if you start typing here in this box their email address talk to one another get their email address and you're going to click on them as they come up and you want them to be a full collaborator and if there's a third group member you're going to add more until you have added all of your group members and then you're going to click done okay i don't want to overload you guys with too much stuff here um but there are two more things i want to show you get you started on and we'll add more to it later on all right so if i go into my project what i what we want to do today is to have our thesis finished and when you have your thesis finished we're going to enter it into noodle tools especially for group members this is really important to make sure that everybody's on the same page if you change it it's important that you update this so you're going to click on that to click to edit and then you're going to go ahead and type your thesis in here okay, whatever you have worked out all at once you've talked to us and have it all sorted out it goes in here and then if it changes it's updated because we find that over time as as you research and you might have to tweak your thesis you need to keep updating it here okay so everybody's on the same page so you're going to enter your thesis there the other thing that I just want to show you today is here for sources. As you're starting to find websites and information for your research, if you've got a website, if you found information, we want to keep track of all of those, those things. There's nothing more painful than finding something that you can use for your project and then having to try and find it again because you have lost track of the website or whatever. So you're going to click new source right here and then you're going to choose what kind of information is it at this point with the research we've done. It's probably a website and then you're going to pick what kind of website it is and it's really pretty simple and straightforward about walking you through that. You'll put the URL, you know, the address in there and all of the information that you can fill out and then you start creating your sources so at this point especially we want to make sure that we have those URLs captured okay if you've got that we can figure out other stuff later on like I said I don't want to overload you here on the first day with this but we want to have our project set up we want to have it shared with the teachers with the so through the inbox we want to make sure that all the group members are added and we want to be working towards getting our thesis perfected when, when we've got all of that we start adding sources again we'll come back to this don't freak out about this right now we are going to add our sources here and it's going to make it so much easier when it's finished you know that you've got all your sources here because it'll be able to produce your bibliography for you and it is a huge part of your project this is going to basically do it for you automatically so we want to make sure that we capture all of our sources and put them in here in noodle tools I cannot state this enough are you guys picking up 
the importance of this by how many times I've mentioned it. All right. <laughs>